let's back up. I found out, uh, it's, it's all in the video, at work, accidentally, that a lot of people did not know this, the song Back at One by Brian McKnight. Uh, I, I outlined in the video how that came about, including Samantha. Now, as I said in the video, some, that's amazing, that, that's ridiculous that Samantha, a good-looking, okay, aside from the fact that I, and probably I alone, see the inside of her as a person, the inspirational abilities, just on the superficial side alone, you would think that with the, the good looks and stuff, that some guy at some point would have introduced Brian McKnight's Back at One to her, at least brought to the attention that that song exists, let alone sung it to her. But we found out because of prior stuff at work but with other people first that she didn't she never heard of that song that was a mind blower that was just ridiculous so now that things have developed with me and samantha and she legitimately wants to be an fs1 in david's life we discussed this idea and we came up with this idea actually she said first uh before she started acting all like project mundo ish uh that um she wanted to do a facetime and record record a detailed confession of how the manager Alfonso lied on her behalf and fucked things up with us. Uh, and then after that, I suggested, hey, you haven't been sung back at one before. Why don't I customize the lyrics to not sing the original, but the same style, the same idea, but customized to me and you? Uh, I have written those lyrics. They're very good. Okay, I was going to sing it on camera the same way I did for Kaylin. I will now have to show that Kaylin video. That's what happens when you make reference. Stuff comes out here. You have to show it. I did this for Kaylin, but I sung the original. And that's before I came good at become, became good at singing anything, whether originals or customs, right? So I don't want to do the same thing for uh, Samantha because I did it once for Kaylin, original version. And also the original version, Brian McKnight's own version, is online. So I said, Samantha, you know what? Let's dig deeper for you. Let's give you a custom version that's custom to me and you. And I was going to sing that with her watching on FaceTime. And get this. I came up with two other songs that I can tie into a relation and justify them too. I was going to do Will Smith's Getting Jiggy With It, but call it Big Vega style instead of Big Willie style. And I was going to end with, uh, hold on, let me, t with, uh, Rob Van Dam's uh, in wrestler entrance theme song, One of a Kind, yes, by, hold on, by Breaking Point on the Forcible Entry album. Dude, 